I can tell you that people are getting the word that this area has been shut down because to my right, the traffic that we saw before, it's not here anymore. But what I am still seeing are scores of law enforcement coming down this highway. We just saw militarized vehicles heading towards the airport. Uh, and again, this has been happening for hours now. Just police speeding towards the airport. So as we're getting these conflicting reports of whether or not there was a second active shooter or, or now the, the, the um, Broward County Sheriff's Office saying that there was only one shooter, it's all developing right now. And we do have a bit of a, a good vantage point for you here. As you can see, that's the tarmac. So people are still kind of uh, in limbo right now, wondering what exactly has been going on at the airport. And even reports that I'm getting from the ground, people who who believe that they're um, that they're witnessing maybe a heightened situation and, and possibly not because as we all know now unfortunately we're all getting familiar with these situations is that the information develops live unfolds lives through social media and through what uh, law enforcement officials are telling us so it's a very fluid situation here but I can tell you from where we are standing here on 595, the law enforcement just keeps coming. So we're staying on top of this and monitoring it from, from right outside the Fort Lauderdale Airport where we're live right now. Tiffany, Felicia.